And oh boy, does his content make me want to fucking kill myself. He claimed that the Loud House might feature a Spider-Man cameo because both the heads of Lincoln and Spider-Man are shaped like a circle. Kalobi. How many bowls did you smoke while making this video? Because you are acting like you are stoned out of your mind. I'm not supposed to give my opinion. But your channel is trash. This channel is easily the most boring YouTuber I've done in this series. It's too much for me to handle. I'm going to die. I haven't even gotten through like five minutes through this, and I'm already losing brain cells. We are talking about a channel, Kalobi Productions. I gotta hit 10 minutes, and if you say a bad word, you're gonna get finished. Who is this man? Does he make premium content? And if so, why a lot of people ratted him in 2017? Well, the answer is clear. He did not make premium content. He just... He just clickbaits people. Most of the content is just a lot of Loud House related stuff. A uh, cartoon that I don't like at all. I watched it in 2017, I had two crushes, I didn't like them. And also, you can see uh, a lot of Spongebob. Anyway, why this is the worst member of cartoon community? We will talk about it right now. Isn't that crazy, 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 crazy guys? This is just crazy, 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 crazy guys. Oh shit, that's a lot of clickbait! He clickbaits like mad lad, to be honest. And you know what's funny? In these thumbnails, he steals fan arts and does not even credit them. Yeah, you did not ask for permission to use a CGI looking characters in your thumbnails for blank characters as real life animation. Or how would this character look like in 20... what? 2018. He still thinks that Gravity Falls could return. No, it will not. Well, not at any point. Gravity Falls is dead. Second, he thinks that Spider-Man will be in Loud House because Lincoln and Spider-Man has circle-shaped heads. What the fuck, man? What, what the actual fuck? Oh, and he also uses, of course, the good old arrows and circles. His editing also sucks. It's just like me editing this video if I was 9 years old. Just repeating the same clip of the video all over again, adding the music that is not even extended. His channel was born on 27th November 2011. And of course, most of the videos are 10 minutes long. Which means he put it mid roll ads in it. Of course he did. Money! Sometimes Kalobi is so blind, he can't find another two legs on the Amazing World of Gumball video. There are six legs on that beast. But when we switch angles, everything is just completely out of loop. You I don't stupid. Know what is happening. Not and also I found some videos that I'm actually gonna take a look at. And uh, we're actually gonna see if this content is truly premium. Or is it just trash like Lex Chris content that I might actually also rant on? I'm not sure. Quiet moments where he doubts himself. I feel like a failure, Gary. <laughs> I didn't notice, and we've been seeing this intro for years, but guys, trust me, there's things in here that you guys have never seen. Well, I sure do wonder, what did we not saw in a 43 second animation? I, I sure do wonder, what kind of easter eggs have we missed there? Remember the guy that always says, are you ready kids? Oh! 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 Who lives in a pineapple under the pineapple? We'll take a look at the parrot. Did you know that that's actually Patchy the Pirate's parrot? And you are already getting wrong. This is a uh, Painty the Pirate's parrot, not Patchy the Pirate's parrot. That you're you're already getting wrong at the first fact. Just like I think the whole video in total. Did you know that this is actually an island? <laughs> now, when SpongeBob is driving in to put the logo for SpongeBob SquarePants, he's driving a boatmobile and some other you know boats. You know, like cars. You know, SpongeBob, the cars are actually boats. But if you think about it. If you actually, you know, take time to think about it, Spongebob has never had his driver's license. I mean, his boating's license. Okay, the only one thing Spongebob can do correctly while driving a boatmobile is just driving straight. That's all the stuff he can do correctly. That's it. When Spongebob is dancing to get his body back to form, his pants goes off on its own. Now, what's happening is the music is actually driving his pants, his work pants, 
to go to his body. The flute, do 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 do. You know, the flute is actually, the flute is actually carrying the pants to SpongeBob. What were you smoking, man? What in the depths of hell do you mean by flute is carrying pants to SpongeBob? I don't understand. What are, were you on while making this video? And also, if you look in the background of the logo, you can see SpongeBob outlined in blue, and that's um, you know, that kind of looks like Doodle Bob if you think about it. Doesn't that kind of look like Doodle Bob? Doodle Bob was referenced in the first season of SpongeBob. Isn't that crazy, guys? No, there is more crazy stuff. Doodle Bob appeared in the second season. You, you uncultured swine. swine! Now, Sandy Cheeks is not a fish. Whatever you believe, guys. That's not a fish, it's a squirrel. You just discovered a mystery. Sandy Cheeks is a squirrel. Can we please clap for this guy? Oh my god, he just discovered mostly biggest theory. When the show, you know, they were showing us that SpongeBob cannot be, you know, he can morph. I mean, he can be split in half and literally regenerate because that's what sponges actually do. And SpongeBob is a sponge. <laughs> Five Fortnite YouTubers who sworn. What the heck, man? Finn said the word heck. Oh my god, Finn said the H word. This is so sad. And actually, heck is not a bad word. Everybody says heck. So, yeah, you, you're, you're wrong. Next up on the list is the amazing world of Gumball. And this one is a wrap. Nani, my favorite character, Gumball Watterson, the voice actor of which killed James Charles in Minecraft Hunger Games with Quacket HQ, said a bad word? I should check it out. I've played the clip multiple times, and if you did not hear it, he says the B word. You should slow down this clip even more. He said, big juicy hot dog. What's wrong with you? Why do you think that everything is a bad word? Really? Why? Next up on the list is the Loud House. And guys, shocking. His tooth may be jerky, but I think he's just quirky. <laughs> this scene, you're saying, well, you know, I don't really see anything. I don't really hear any swear words. I don't hear any cursing, no profanity. The boy said the word, he said the F word. He said the word flip. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. No. No, I, I can't do this. Why you keep assuming that everything is a bad word? Like, <laughs> flip is not a bad word, okay? And even if we zoom in on the cups, it even says the F word. First, it says F. Second off, I haven't told you that, but F stands for flip, and flip is the owner of the gas station in Loud House. Even though I'm not watching Loud House rarely, I still remember me watching Loud House in 2017 and still remembering everything. So, Flip is the owner of the gas station and it's not a bad word in any goddamn- Next up on the list is The Incredibles 2. And guys, I know this is a movie, but it's animated and I just wanted to put it in. And apparently he also made a part 4 of this. I don't really want to do this, but I will do this anyway. Nice content. I cannot believe what Lily Loud just said on the Loud House. This is pretty crazy because Lily Loud is a baby. Dang it, it's not a swearing. Again, I think Lily not tried to swear. She tried to say donut. So I don't I don't think that she sweared. So you are wrong again. In a cartoon called Milo, one of the characters is seen saying a bad word. And the bad word is dummy. I'm leaving. Why were you even born on YouTube in the first place? Why were you- <laughs> You keep assuming that everything's a bad word. What's next? Poopy head a bad word? <laughs> I, I don't even know what else can I say. He, he just that stupid. I cannot believe what I just heard. Cyborg just said a bad word on Teen Titans Go. Oh my god. Cyborg said a bad word on the television. Guys, this is so crazy. Oh my god. 
He said, aw shucks, but it was muffled because of the video game that he was playing, so... In this, he is rapping and he says a curse word. Uh, he says the B word, it rhymes with itches. First off, I already talked about it, he said big juicy hot dog. But the second thing is, didn't you already show specifically this material in your third episode of swearing on accident? And that proves even more that you did not did any research for the video. If you're making a video about cartoon characters that actually sweared, just do some at least do some research. That that'll not take that much time, well maybe hour, a half hour, but still. Just try to find some actual episodes of cartoon character swearing like you did with Looney Tunes, like you did with SpongeBob. Don't assume that everything is a bad word. Don't assume that dummy is a bad word. That flip is a bad word. I already talked about that. It's just a bunch of arrows, circles, but it's also just sometimes just the recolored characters. Fan arts that was stolen, CGI looking characters. They were all stolen without any credits. He also makes content like animation errors that slip through editing. Animation errors that slip through editing. That definitely was animation error that slipped through editing. The animator slipped up big time here. If you look close enough, you can tell that he's going over a trash can. Nobody cares about that. Type down below in the comment section what the mistake is, and you have a chance at winning. You have a chance at winning. You have- Yeah, I know that Darwin doesn't have a mouth in this frame, but why you needed to repeat it three times and say that I have a chance at winning? Winning what? Your own money that you're still gonna steal from me and claim it as your own? For this animation error, you gotta be good at math, okay? Are you good at math? You're probably not. What am I am? Back in first grade? He is very, very, very tall. And we should have seen that balloon with, when Gumball is here, we should have seen a piece of that, because that thing is tall. Maybe it's because of the fact that the camera is specifically focused on Gumball and Darwin. Keep looking, bro. You're gonna find it, sister. Brother, you're gonna find it, bro. I'm not your bro. I'm your enemy. They don't have two booties, and you cannot split bananas like that. If you cut it, it would be a perfect slice, not two butts, okay? That's just not logical. So what you're saying is, is the fact that bananas only have one bot, but not two. And that this is not logical. But do you even fucking know that the whole show doesn't have any logic? There is no night poles at daytime. There is two butts on a banana. Because there is no logic in the amazing world of Gumball. If there would be logic, then why the hell would there be a talking dinosaurs, walking fishes, a family that is just animals? It's like you don't even watch the whole show. And I think that's all the stuff I can talk about his channel. He just that loves money. And Guys, I'm putting a lot of time into this cartoon rap battle, and I've already started with the Avengers vs. Thanos one, so you guys please just watch the next one. I'll be tracer. I'm already tracer. What? That's right. You thought your boy Dan not gonna talk about animations on this channel? That's probably the worst thing ever happened to this channel. Apart from clickbait. His animations, they're bad. And they will forever be the worst. If you will take a look at his animations like the Loud House characters meet Spongebob crossover parody, you can actually see that he traced PNGs of Lincoln and Spongebob and added the mouth animation to Lincoln to make it look like he put an effort in it, but he didn't. And Spongebob looks like a fucking liquid. And how Lincoln can breathe underwater? That's a question. And also, in this frame right here, why nobody talks about the fact that this guy literally has clickbait in a heart? And another YouTuber that no one likes called Veilskibum94 actually made a video about Spongebob videos where he also put it this and 
Kalobi just had to respond to that. Guys, you know we produce the most legendary and just iconic videos on the internet and even the biggest names on YouTube, you know, they can't stay away from this channel. Wow, what a great beginning of the video, Kalobi. By being a, such an echoist, while you disabled a like and dislike ratio in several fucking videos. Also, why you needed to do a sequel to this? Nobody asked for that. Why the fuck did you need it to do a sequel to such an awful ass video? That's the only two animations he uploaded in the past. But now he's back with even better animations. Cartoon rap battles. For now we gotta take a look at Spongebob vs. Lincoln Loud rap battle. Here we have Spongebob. And you might already ask, why is he wearing a green tie? I don't actually know. But it's not right. He's wearing a red tie, not green. And his pants are kind of different, if we talk about the collar. Also in this frame, he's having that angry face from Facebook, just as Lincoln Loud. I this animation that Kalobi did right here perfectly traced. The animation is not the best. They can be creepy as heck. Like for example here, Spongebob getting stabbed by Lincoln Loud with a fucking pencil. Spongebob kills Lincoln with a Krabby Patty gun. And there is another question I have. Why is Spongebob doing a Fortnite day? Gumball vs. Robin cartoon rap battle. Gumball is having the same angry face, but Robin is perfectly traced. This animation is just horrible. It's horrible. If you think that I don't know where you traced that from, there is the original, so... Yeah. Why don't I introduce you to my steel bat? Everyone in the cartoon community loves me. No shit, man. You have two big eyes, but you can't see that you're trash? I think you spelled trash wrong. Let me spell it for you. T-R-A-S-H. There is how it spells trash. Starfire versus Penny Rap Battle. This is where things goes even worse. Why? Um... You stretched the to the 10 minutes? Okay. Why you needed to use a golf ball face and put it on Penny? Where is Penny's second eye? Why she's a cyclops? I'm the queen of the show, so kiss my feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's really really weird. That is the cheating, but not from my planet. Gumball cheated on me. That hurts. I admit. God, whenever somebody says cheating, it always reminds me of that fucking thing happened uh, months ago. You remember Pro Jerry? A cartoon so boring, it should be suspended. Why no one even knew when you were high. Kalobi apparently has a weird fetish where he needs to make this human weird looking face in every single rap battle. Moth animation that he quote unquote made, he just reused it in every single Kalobi Productions animation. Like, dude. Can't you make some other mouth animations as well? Here is Mario. Now, he looks like an absolute crankhead. <laughs> I'm pretty much sure you traced it somewhere from DeviantArt. Here we have Sonic. He removed his nose and replaced his eyes with 1930s eyes, and most importantly, he traced Sonic from Sonic Mania Adventures. I mean, take a look. You traced Mario's running animation from Super Mario Odyssey. Mario said that he's gonna teach Sonic a lesson about respect with his fist. He punches him and spanks him. But this was traced from our animator terminal montage. I wanna ride Yoshi. <laughs> Whenever cartoon characters or video game characters are rap, they do not even sound like they are rapping. It just sounds like they are reading a poem into instrumental rap. I've won this battle already, as you can tell. Nice brother choose his daughter then I left. A lot of people think that he stole that idea from beatboxer Verbalasse. I know that you spell it Verbalace, but I don't really care. Who is Verbalasse? Well, he's the Tetris beatbox meme man. <laughs> And he has a series called Cartoon Beatbox Battles, where he also had Mario vs. Sonic. <laughs> Chili can make you fart, so that's probably where he gets the extra speed. No funny. At least Verbalasse did not trace anything, had a good animations and good voice acting. 
unlike Kalobi. It was uploaded in the same day. But you know when Kalobi stole the beatbox idea? In the last rap battle. Darwin vs. Beast Boy. Beast Boy perfectly traced. Darwin traced. The Beast Boy's voices pretty much sounds like Beast Boy's. But Darwin sounds like Alex Krish. I got the best family in the whole world. You can't be serious, you sound like a girl. Just like Logan Paul of Minecraft community. So what can I say in conclusion about Kalobi Productions? Is he the worst member of Cartoon community? Yeah. Does he make premium content? No. He clickbaits. He thinks that cartoons should have logic. He thought that Toy Story was actually stop motion animated. He keeps saying this is crazy a lot as much as I said typical cancer on his videos. He traces animations and makes them look like they were a Chinese bootleg from AliExpress. Also, if Kalobi actually watches this video, take it as a criticism, not personal attack. And um, another thing, do you like Camp Coral, the prequel to Spongebob series that wasn't even released for now? If you do, then you probably don't have a soul. Anyways, that took me actually a shit ton of time to make this video. And hope y'all actually like this video. If you want to support me, then make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on. Do whatever you want, actually. And, um, you can also join my social medias. Also, I wanted to have Nutshell Quarty to voice act, but his Google Mail is broken. Even though I spammed him the same comment two times. Sorry, my for spamming, though. Also, you can check my boy Gaming Kind of Guys videos. I he had he uploaded like two videos about Kalobi Productions. You can you can check them out. In the next one of my yo content slash rant videos, I might as well just rant a diaper lover. That's it. <laughs>